On the next Probably True Solar Stories, you'll hear a live storytelling about two solar pros who decide to get married at a solar conference in Las Vegas. But when the wedding gets unexpectedly interrupted, the solar industry comes to the rescue. Welcome back to Season 3 of Probably True Solar Stories. I'm your solar storytelling host, Tor Solar Fred Valenza. If you're new to the podcast, I've just finished an 11-episode mini-solar noir story called The Solar Heist, or How I Got Into the Solar Business. You can listen to all 11 episodes at the top of probablytruesolar.com, but for the rest of Season 3, we're going to return to some shorter solar stories. The first one is a live reading of a story that I wrote for RE+, the U.S. solar industry's largest annual solar conference. It's often located in Las Vegas, but not always. In any case, this probably true solar story really is fiction, but it's very, and I mean very, loosely based on the true story of when two solar friends asked me to officiate their wedding at the solar conference in Vegas in 2016. That 2016 wedding went very well. But when I was invited to do my live reading for last year's RE Plus in September of 2023, I decided to write a fictionalized version that would retell the story with a few exciting twists. As I said, this is very loosely based on a true story. As always, please do check the show notes for the true solar takeaways, and there are a lot in this story. Okay, here we go. La, 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 la. Oh, oh, oh. Let's Get Married at RE Plus is written and read by Tor Solarfred Valenza. Welcome, 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 welcome to the 14th annual Social Views and Brews, formerly known as the Tweet Up. This has been a real treat for me, and every year we gather here from our social networks to actually see each other in person. And I love seeing you all here at least once a year. So my name is Tor Valenza, but a lot of people in the solar industry know me as Solar Fred for my Twitter handle. Why I'm called Solar Fred is a long story, but that's not the story that I want to tell you today. Today, I want to tell you a probably true solar story. So what's a probably true solar story? It's quite simply a story that is fictional that always involves solar. Why solar fiction? People ask me that all the time. And I say to them, why the hell not? I mean, why lawyer stories? Why doctor stories? Why dragon stories? Dragons aren't even real. And we've got 265,000 solar workers, um, give or take. And we've got four and a half million or four million solar installations in the U.S. alone today, and yet solar is pretty much invisible in film and TV and pop culture today, and that sucks. And so I decided to fix that with a solar fiction podcast called Probably True Solar Stories. So what's the difference between a true story and a probably true solar story? I see true stories in the news all the time. I'm a PR person, so you know I get people in the news and, and I read other people's news. And with all due respects to you and to my clients, those stories are not very exciting or dramatic. But when it's a probably true solar story, you get to make things up. And that's where the fun is. So with that in mind, I'm going to read you a new story that I wrote specifically for RE+. It's very loosely, and I mean very loosely, based on the true story of when I officiated the wedding of two solar friends in Vegas here in 2016. I know there are some people in the audience that were actually there at that wedding, and you can ask, there's, there's one right there. Um, we, can, we can all discuss the differences between this version and the true story later. So uh, the only the other thing that I, ch- I want to say about this before I start is that this is 
a story about love and community and solar love and solar community. And it's also a story about how sometimes the solar industry fails to communicate to the general public. So with that in mind, I'd like to now read Let's Get Married at RE Plus, uh, or sorry, I'd like to read Let's Get Married at RE Plus in Vegas, written by me, Tor, Solar Fred, Valenzo. All right, here we go. Wait, 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 officer. You can't arrest me. I mean, you can, but you're making a big mistake. Let me explain. Before you put on those cable ties, which, by the way, are very good quality, and I know cable ties because I'm in the solar industry. And officer, that's kind of the point. All of the people at this allegedly illegal rooftop party are solar people. And I'm telling you, we did not steal anything from the convention center. It's more like we had permission to borrow these things. Yes, including that pickup truck. But we needed it to get all of this equipment here to the garage's rooftop. Oh, wow. Look who just arrived at the wedding party, officer. It's the head of Sia, it's the head of Sia Abby Hopper. Hey there, Abby. Hey, Abby. I'm having a little problem here, but I'll handle it. I think. What's that, officer? Oh, SIA stands for Solar Energy Industries Association? You know nothing about the solar industry, do you, officer? Well, let me give you some context if I start from the beginning. You'll see this is all of a misunderstanding. And, I mean, things happen here at RE+. Am I right, officer? RE+, uh, yeah. That's the convention downstairs where we stole, I mean, borrowed all of this. Would you like a beer, officer? Yeah, we borrowed those kegs too. And the cappuccino machine. And the, and the bowl of candy. I know we can't give the M&Ms and the beer back, but officer, it's a convention. I mean, the whole point is to give these things away in exchange for a business card or getting our badges zapped. And we would have gladly zapped our badges if it weren't for the blackout. And as you know, that's where we are today. Looters? No, sir. Officer, we're solar lovers, not solar looters. Look, can I give you some context? It all started with my two very good friends, Matt and Molly. They met each other at the, at the Shoals party at the 2016 Vegas SPI. Hmm? Yeah, sorry for all the acronyms. SPI stands for Solar Power International. That's the old name for RE+. Point is, my good friends Matt and Molly interconnected at the Shoals party. That's a big annual party that started by this guy, Dean Solon. He's the guy over there in the Hawaiian shirt and shorts. Dean here? Ah, uh, he didn't make it. Uh, back then, Shoals was just, uh, just made BOS parts. Yeah, there I go again with the acronyms. BOS stands for Balance of Systems. It's pretty much much anything that's not a solar panel, inverters, or racking. Anywho, the point is that my good friends Molly, the engineer, and Matt, the solar procurement guy, seriously interconnected with love and solar. I mean, instead of poetry and songs, they read the NEC to each other at night. The NEC, yeah, that's the National Electric Code. It'll put you to sleep. But those two are solar geeks, so it sparked joy. Anyway, this year, Matt and Molly decided to go back to the scene of the crime, just an expression, to get married here in Vegas at RE+. Now, officer, they handled this wedding like solar pros. I mean, instead of a wedding planner, they got themselves a solar wedding developer. Get it? Oh, well, a solar developer is like this orchestra conductor of a solar project. Developers get stuff done. They plan it all and they execute. And that's what Molly and, and Matt and their friends did. So the whole wedding was going to happen downstairs at the convention, and we were going to combine it with my annual tweet-up, now known as Social Views and Brews. See, we are all big on energy Twitter, so Matt and Molly asked me to officiate here at RE+. Yes, it's going to be a legal... Sorry. Yes, it's going to be a legal marriage. I'm a minister. All it, all it took was an internet search and $35. And now, 
I am the right Reverend Solar Fred, ordained by the Church of the Big Lebowskis. I wear the robe. Namaste, namaste, officer. Anyway, everything was set for the ceremony. And then, as you know, we had this blackout. Why did the blackout happen? Got me. It wasn't us. I mean, don't quote me, officer, but I'm thinking this September heat wave made all of Vegas set their air conditioners to chill, and that was too much power for the grid. Y'all could lose, y'all could use some load flexibility and demand response. Too complicated to explain that now. Let's just get to the alleged grand larceny. See, when the lights went out, Matt, Matt and Molly were devastated. I mean, they wanted to get married today. People had flown in from everywhere uh, and were leaving Vegas tomorrow. So we all looked at each other. I mean, we're the renewable energy industry, damn it. We're at RE+. There are solar panels, inverters, and solar trackers, and batteries all over the convention floor, not to mention an F-150 Lightning electric truck with 131 kilowatt hours of rolling battery storage. So hell, you could throw a, a Tootsie Roll in any direction and hit an EPC to put it all together. Yeah, EPC. That stands for Engineering, Procurement, and Construction. Moving on. Point is that we had everyone and everything that we needed to have Matt and Molly's wedding on the top floor of the Venetian's Convention Center garage. So we spread the word. And everybody chipped in. And that's where I think we have this misunderstanding, officer. This was not looting, per se. I mean, in the RE plus lingo, we call this procurement of an off-grid solar microgrid system. <laughs> hmm? No, officer, we definitely don't want to call this just a microgrid. It's an off-grid microgrid, because we did not hook anything up to the grid. Legally, that would take months, and don't get me started about interconnection queues. Tell you about that later. In any case, my friends took out our solar design software, and in no time, we had a NABCEP installer design a very safe off-grid system. Oh boy, NABCEP. Uh, that stands for North American Board of Certified Energy Practitioners. Y'all knew that, right? They're a solar skills training and certification org. The point is, our designers knew what they were doing, and they got everyone, and, and then even Molly herself put on her P.E. stamp. P.E.? Seriously, officer. Everyone knows that P.E. stands for professional engineer. That's like M.D.'s, except for solar. Moving on. Now, as for your allegation that we do not have permits for this off-grid wedding party, officer, I beg to differ. This garage rooftop party is filled with requirements and permitting experts and not one of them could find an, AH, an AHJ, that's an authority having jurisdiction, that had any requirements for having a temporary five or six hour wedding party on a rooftop garage. I mean, maybe the city fire and construction departments have jurisdiction, but with the blackout, they're all offline. And we had five hours of daylight with 20 kW of solar to fill up some decent kWh for the batteries. Huh? Oh, officer, have you never read your electric bill? KW stands for kilowatts. KWH stands for kilowatt hours. I can explain the difference, but we got a wedding to put on. So that's the story, officer. I swear it's true, so help me, dude. There was no looting on the, or truck jacking here of that Ford 150 at Lightning. No, sir. We just borrowed it to transfer it all. And assuming the karaoke machine doesn't drain the F-150's batteries, we should have plenty of charge left to transfer everything back to the convention center when the lights go on again. Thing is, we're almost done here, officer. So if you just let me complete the wedding vows, we can fire up the DJ and start the wedding part. Thank you, officer. Yes, I can help you get a solar quote. Yes, I can help you get a solar quote later. For now, let us complete our ceremony with Matt and Molly. Would you all rise? All right, here we go. Renewable energy brothers and sisters and non-binary identifying folks, we are gathered here at RE Plus 
to complete the interconnection of Matt and Molly. They have met all known permitting requirements for love, for faith, and affection. And now, by the spirit of the 38,000 people here attending RE+, please repeat after me. We, the solar community, do hereby, witness, do hereby witness the commitment of Matt and Molly, Matt and Molly to, ride to ride the solar coasters ups and downs, to promote the, sorry, to promote the growth of renewable energy love, the of renewable energy with love. or without any investment tax credits for love. <laughs> with or without any net metering for love for as long as the sun and the stars shine on and now by the power vested in me by the church of the big Lebowskis in communion with the entire solar storage and plus community I now pronounce Matt, Matt and Molly husband and wife namaste that's it. All right. All right. So raise, raise your hand if you were actually at the real one. We had Nico. We got Ravi. Anybody else was at the real one? Okay. So my, my memory of it was that it went very, very smoothly. <laughs> um, but it was filled with a lot of solar PV jargon and instead of a, a ring that they exchanged, they had an MC4 connector that they, that they brought together um, at the ceremony. It was off grid and that was fun um, in the sense that it was outside of the old convention center over there. And um, other than that, it was just filled with a lot of uh, PV puns that mostly Pan and Marvin wrote and I did a little editing but it, it was a lot of fun. The, the thing that really, you know, because it was one of these kind of things that we all put together the month before, uh, sadly, nobody thought about having a photographer. And we thought, well, it's the tweet up. People will be taking pictures all over the place with their iPhones, and they didn't. So we, we don't have that many pictures of it. We have some very unfocused ones, but that's the case. Any, any other questions about the, the real wedding compared to my fake wedding? All right. Well, thank you for all coming and enjoying this. And uh, if you want to share it with friends, then listen to the Probably True Solar Stories podcast. I believe it's also going to be rebroadcast eventually on uh, Nico's uh, Suncast broadcast. And, and yeah, yes, Nico is saying that is true. Um, and I believe there's probably, it's probably true. Um, there's also a video version of this, I believe that's being live streamed. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have it on, on live. So thank you all for coming again to another tweet up. Let's do it again next year in, uh, Anaheim. All right. Thank you. Dun, 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 dun. I hope you enjoyed that live reading. Yes, we do a lot of acronyms in the solar industry, and that was the point of my fictional retelling. Solar is already complicated, and I hope that the solar industry can learn to use simpler words when speaking to the general public. That being said, if you're looking to join the solar industry or know someone who wants to go solar, I think this episode is a fun way to learn about the acronyms with some very brief explanations. Thanks for listening. If you'd like to see the video version of this episode, check out the show notes for a link. Probably True Solar Stories is a production of Unthink Solar PR and Communications. As always, be bold for solar. Stand out and educate. See you next week. Oh, 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 oh.